So wait, that's what I want to ask you, because I don't know if he's me alone. That's what I want to ask you. And it's a blessing when more people show in love and it's all out there. Yeah. Just look around, oh, we got so much in common. Yeah, bro, when me lining, bro, when me whining, we just want a good time. Yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Sunday. I am just happy to see this week go because this week was terrible. It wasn't good. It was no bueno. I don't know if you could tell by my voice, but I have come down with the flu. Um, I had to I had to get on antibiotics, and antibiotics have made me vulnerable to all sorts of crap, the flu included. So that's where I am right now. Um, so pray for me. Pray for my voice. Yeah, it is a journey. I'm just coming from church with Cassie. Um, stopped at the supermarket to get some things me don't even need. Um, I'm only really supposed to buy two things. My mother wants eggs and um, I need to get a glass cleaner because my glass cleaner is finished. And my stuff has not arrived. Y'all, I am I'm ordering every shite, you know. Every shite is being ordered. I ordered a whole bag of scrub daddies. I don't know if y'all know, but those of us who, who are addicted to cleaning TikTok, scrub daddies, the scrub daddy is the plug. So I'm just waiting for that to arrive. And I also ordered oh, some pink stuff. That's literally the name of the, the cleaners, pink stuff. So I'm waiting for that. But in the meantime, I need to clean my glasses and stuff. So I, I wanted to get a glass cleaner. And then my mother wants an egg. So that's the two things I'm mainly coming here for. But let's see if we can stick to the list. I don't know if I'll find something else that I don't... I'm probably going to find some other things that I don't need. Since you guys have seen me, um, it was International Women's Day. So let me say a special shout out to all the women, all the female subscribers on here. Um, one thing about women, we have it hard in this world. But we always seem to triumph. Um... I want to shout out to all the single mothers. Um, all the women just better in themselves. It is a journey. We we have, in the true nature of, of what it takes to be a woman, you naturally have to deal with multiple things at once. So shout out to each and every one of you. In the past couple of weeks, I've also been able to hit some restaurants and food spots with my friends. So maybe I'll do a quick montage of that and insert it here. Y'all know I love to eat, so very, very good times. Treasure them. Um, mostly my days have been filled with rehearsals. I'm working on two projects right now that I can't really speak on immediately, immediately. But maybe by next week, I'll be able to say something more about them. Um, but yeah, we've been in rehearsals. That's all I can see. Let's go to the supermarket. To the supermarket. <laughs>
Okay guys, back in the car. We we diverted a little bit from the list. But we need the things we have. Okay, eggs. I think what did, what did I buy? Eggs. I need the eggs for my breakfast because I'm making a, a salad. Um I'm making an egg salad. Um I cannot have egg salad without vinaigrette, so I had to get the vinaigrette. I mean these are practical things. My ketchup is finished. Ketchup is always a must in my house. Um, and I bought bananas for my parents. Um, what else I buy? Oh, my dispenser broke. So praise the Lord. I needed to replace it. So yes, it needs, guys. Don't judge me. We're going home. <laughs> we are back home. Um, one of the good things about going to mass early is that it's only about midday now is it midday maybe not even midday yet it's missed quarter to 11. so i feel like i've gotten so much done for the morning and i want you to know that i didn't buy any junk food the things that i bought were more healthy things you know because lent is upon us um and i have vowed to eat a little more healthier in lent i also gave up rituals which has been a struggle for me um not being able to get any coffee or anything and i'm trying to find healthier alternatives to replace all the crap i buy on a regular so yeah pray for me pray for me guys pray for me i am struggling um but lent is always a good time for me to be honest it's always like a starting point to some kind of change so definitely appreciate it i'm heading up i'm going to boil two eggs so that i can mix in with my salad um then i have a couple of chores to do and then i have rehearsals later so i will check you all then hi guys welcome to sefi's youtube channel my name is lanai my name is paz today is his birthday yes i how old are you today i'm 24. bad boy this is nicole hi happy birthday paz thank you <laughs> this is Steffi there but you stay here, no? Hey, mob! Hey, mob! We finally get <laughs> Steffi vlog, eh? Hey! After, After so back. many years. Shall I go back and change that name? Yes! It's a vlog for the goons. Vlog for the goons. Uh. Hashtag vlog for the goons. Goon vlog. Goon vlog. Goon vlog. Goon vlog. This is for the vlog. All right, for Steffi's vlog. Oh, that's for Steffi's vlog. For Steffi's vlog. Oh, oh, this is for Steffi's vlog. This is for Steffi's vlog. Yeah. This is for Steffi's vlog. Hi, this is Steffi. Hi. Hashtag good vlog. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Right. Say hi to the vlog. Hi to the vlog. Mama! Say hi to the vlog. Big up yourself on the vlog, my G. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Chick. 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 So, right, let me go check Steffi there. I can. Steffi! Steffi, my darling! I am not serving the birthday boy last year. I have no, no class, no declare. Steffi. Wow, why are they expanding for you? I'm gonna grab a chocolate there. Okay. Um. Okay. I bite from a vendor. <laughs> Trevor, put the Coca Cola back. Vole. You think he's slick? Sorry? Okay. You think you're slick? One volé, volé, volé. And the other one is barbecue chicken. What do you have? Swipe on those swiping. Sorry? What vegetarian pizza do they have? Hold on. It's corn. Tuna fish? Mm -hmm. 
Vou ler, vou ler, vou ler. E vamos. E é. Bate no preço dela. Free food. That's why you come. Free food. Are you coming tomorrow? Sure. Free food tomorrow. No! Tomorrow is past birthday. I know. Because I've been cake and wine. You say that. I'm not drinking wine, but uh, antibiotics. Trevor, say. Somebody go there tomorrow. I need it. Trevor, say. You're bringing a book of syrup for everybody. Syrup? Wow. Syrup. Well, 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 Trevor, if you bring it syrup for past, what do you bring for my birthday? That's in the boulevard. I'm not with a different number. No, but I'm not grabbed. Um, yeah, next page. So let's see him. Hi guys, I am tired. Um, in case you haven't figured it out as yet, the Carrie Festa cast is back together. Yes. So <laughs> it's crazy because we've been talking about a reunion. Um, and the good thing about it is that we never really lost touch because we have our WhatsApp group and we basically spoke almost every day or every other day. So we never really lost touch. So even when every, when we saw everybody, um, um, our director was like, she, she felt like this, she felt like this would have been a bigger reunion and she felt like the reactions would have been bigger, but we never lost touch. We've always kept in touch. Most of us. And if we're not in touch with everyone, I'm in touch with everybody. If if we're not in touch with everybody, some we know somebody who knows how to get to somebody, and that's basically how we've always been. So it's good to have the crew back. We're doing a little folktale again, um, for the Jazz and Arts Festival, which I'm going to speak more about after I take a shower. The Jazz and Arts Festival, which is coming up in May, um, so that's exciting. We are in rehearsals. That's the third project that I'm working on. So yeah, reuniting has been great so far. It's a lot of work. A lot a lot of work there i'm gonna to take a shower so one second okay guys i'm back i've had my shower i am ready to discuss the jazz so for those who don't know um the two things that are really buzzing right now in saint lucia in terms of upcoming events jazz and carnival so with carnival most of the carnival bands have already launched um and registration has begun and whatever jazz um they announced the lineup for jazz so that has also launched but my the reason i want to talk about it so bad is because i want to know y'all why i want to know why the jazz is so expensive like i was excited because jazz is coming back in a way that we have been waiting for back in the day like jazz was always a big music festival it's known to be that way big artists um like i've seen Kirk franklin i've seen usher i've seen three songs i've seen fantasia like our jazz was a big thing and I, and that is the kind of vibe that we're getting now um with this administration that they're bringing it back to being the big music festival it was where people around the diaspora were looking forward to coming to st lucia to see the same way like how we go to dominica to see the big artists um but I didn't realize I'm not be able to afford it. I mean, let's go from the beginning. So they launched the lineup. Um, and then they, or as of March 1st, they launched the prices per night. So let's go through them, shall we? So the festival is from the 5th of May to the 14th of May. 5th of May is opening night. That's with Kess. DYP and friends and Chensia. So that night is 30 US. Or the early bird as of right now is 20 US. But that's before the 31st of March. All the early bird prices are ending on the 31st of March. Which by the way, that's what I want to ask y'all. Because I want to know if it's me alone. That's what I want to ask y'all. I want to know if it's me alone that wondering why all of our prices in the US do. Why are prices in US you? I do not live in the USA. I live in St. Lucia. Where are the easy where the easy prices, y'all? Tell me before the 31st of March reach because I I am trying to find the easy prices. Where is the Steve's barbershop price, you? Because what is with this US thing? So the first night 
opening night 30 us 20 us before the 31st of march okay <laughs> the wednesday is kingdom night now the wednesday honestly i love that eh give them that i love the gospel night and i was campaigning hard on my twitter for acts i said tasha cobbs i said um nathaniel bassi i said jonathan McReynolds. like i was campaigning but all in all we ended up with cc winans sinak emron henry and special blend so that's okay i'll take it so the kingdom night is 75 us and the early bird is 6750 us and then it's also a vip option which is 150 us and the early bird is 145 US. what is the us doing me what is the my kidney crazy sorry the first day now is like the classical jazz night um it's at pigeon island this is gustavo casenave and lufa Fosso. That is 75 US, um, 67.50 early bird, and the VIP is 150 and 145 early bird. USA, all of that is US. The Friday now is Buju Banton, Fair and Lions, Bungie Garland, and the Ag Band. So that is 85 US or 76.50 early bird, and the VIP is 160 or 144 US. Early bird. Oh yeah, my chest. Then the Saturday, which is the 13th of May, um, that's at Pigeon Island. It's Keys Daniel, Oxlady. Is it Oxlady or Oxlade? Iris Star, CK, Joe Boy, Alfredo Narano, Quintet, KO, Michael Robinson, Calabas, and Casal. So that is 100 US regular, 90 US early bird. And then the VIP is 175 US regular, 157.50 early bird. And then the Sunday is the final night. The headliner is Sting. Um, but there's also Shaggy, there's Ronald Blinkson, there's Barbara Cuddy, there's Teddy St. John, there's Irving H. Lockter. So that is 110 US regular, 99 US early bird 185 us vip 166.50 early bird usd now there's also the season passes which is normally the options that i pursue well when i go to dominica i normally buy season passes so there are three season passes one is a three nights package and that's the friday saturday and sunday um that one is 285 us regular 270 us early bird and the VIP is 475 US regular or 460 US early bird. There's also a two night season pass. So if you just want to do Saturday and Sunday, 200 US or 195 US early bird. And the VIP is 340 US or 320 US early bird there's oh the last the last season pass is if you want to pass for all five nights that's excluding the um the opening night so that's the thursday friday saturday sunday no so that's the so that's the wednesday which is the gospel night thursday the classical night friday saturday sunday so the five night package is 425 us at its regular price or 400 us at the early bird price and then the VIP is 760 US at the regular price, 745 US at the early bird price. So I was doing my little budget. See if I can afford. I'd probably want to do the opening, which is 20 US. That's going to run me about 55 EC. Then I want to do Kingdom Night for sure, which let's estimate it at 68 US. That's going to run me 185 EC. Friday night is going to run me 210 EC. Saturday is going to run me 245 EC. And Sunday is going to run me 269 EC. 
so in total for those one two three four five shows 964 EC 964 where is where is the local rate that's what I want to know where is the local rate because I live in here I, I, I'm looking on the site like no like I am going through the site looking for a chat box so I can type in and say I live here can i get the local rates please i'm calling steve's barbershop because i'm like how much is the ticket how much are the ticket how much is the season pass at steve's because eh, eh. 964 almost a thousand dollars y'all and that's not even inclusive of my outfits that's not inclusive of my mother tickets because you know the 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 Sunday is normally Mother's Day. You know you want to take your mother somewhere. When I buy a ticket, I can't buy anything for the lady again. I can't even put gas in the car. We have to walk to the jazz because eh, 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 eh. when we get there, we can't buy nothing. Huh? My mother have to bring food. I have to. I have to sneak food in. Eh, eh, we'll have to eat in the car. But yes, the nine hundred and sixty-four is not inclusive of my clothes. It's not inclusive of my mother ticket. It's not inclusive of gas. It's not inclusive of food or drinks you 964 dollars and then i say well maybe the season pass might be cheaper for the 400 us 1086 dollars and 76 cents the 964 is a better price and that's early bird eh? so that's before the 31st of march why get enough money i have to sell my i have to sell my legs i have to sell a hey, hey. So you're not gonna sing on the market steps. Just catch me every day this week. I am going on the market steps. I am singing for my supper. Because and then can't even have the audacity to lunch at the same time, yo. Like I'm not supposed to eat. I'm not supposed to eat. That's what I want to know. The other thing I decide deserve to eat. And I want to know what happened to Rima. Because they promised us Rima on the Saturday night. Mind you, I'm okay with Joe Boy, you know. Joe, Joe, Joe Boy, Boy, there. I know I'm okay with Joe Boy. But I want to know what happened to Rima. Uh uh. Uh uh. Anyway, let me touch on Carnival a little bit. I'm only touching on my band because my band had the best lunch out of everybody. I want to say kudos to the Zuvo team. I really thought I was not going to be jumping this year. But when you see I saw the Zuvo team launch. And now the launch was amazing. The theme is Alice in Wonderland. Um, That's probably the best launch I've ever seen in terms of a carnival band. Like well thought out, theatrical, and the costumes look amazing. I'm not telling you what section. Can you guess? Like if you all really, really know me, like if you all know me, even just a little bit, just a un poquito. Guess the section that I am looking at. Guess it, guys. I know y'all know. I know y'all know. But guess. But that's happening. So if you want to come over to St. Lucia for jazz or for carnival, we are open. We'd love to have y'all. So, guys, let me close up the vlog here and say. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like on this video for me before you go. And if you're new here, my name is Steffi. I bring you a video every week from the beautiful island paradise of St. Lucia. Um, and let me also shout out all of the subscribers. Um, especially those that I meet in person. I've met a couple this week. Let me shout out especially all the subscribers from the UK. And say a happy belated Mother's Day to all of you. Um... Well, to those of you who are mothers, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, and let me shout out Monique, especially who I met at the supermarket, um, who was so nice to take a photo and stuff with me. And let me know that the vlogs are going good. Thank you, I appreciate that feedback. Um, yes, so guys, before you go, like I said, please leave a like on this video for me, and I will see you guys next week.
love y'all if you all see an ad for my kidney online don't say wow eh? don't say wow in fact let me know if you're willing to buy because eh, eh. Oh,